dorky daddies. How y'all doing? Today, I wanna talk about a feature that I think would literally tip me over the edge and just make me never think about Final Cut Pro again and just go full bore DaVinci Resolve. I mean, that's probably not true, but I honestly think it might be. If you're new around here, welcome to the dorky daddy domain. That's too much alliteration. Welcome newbies to the land of dorky daddies. Uh, here we love editing. We're big nerds, we're big dorks, we're all about editing. And uh, for a little bit of context, again, a lot of you have heard me talk about this. I'm beating a dead horse, but I really, I mean, like, like this video, share this video. I want Blackmagic to add this feature because I think it's the best. And if you're not familiar with it, I'm going to show you today why I think it's so great and why we need to get this in front of their eyes so that they're thinking about it. Again, for that context, I used to edit in Final Cut Pro. I really cut my teeth learning how to edit professionally with Final Cut Pro. It's a great piece of software. And I just kind of hit a ceiling within what I could do with Final Cut Pro without spending a metric buttload. <laughs> in plugins and decided to learn davinci resolve it had so so much more capabilities so many tools that final cut is truly lacking and i have loved it ever since they both have a special place in my heart but at the end of the day pedal to the metal rubber meets the road resolve is a more powerful tool in my opinion for 98 percent of what i do these days for both client and youtube so um and today i wanted to talk about the feature that i just wish davinci had i wish they would add it think it'd be pretty easy to do. I don't know why they don't. And it's a feature that could be toggleable. It can be turned on and off. And I just wish that Resolve had this. Now, the funny thing is, I guarantee that all of you are like, Jake, you're talking about the magnetic timeline, right? We're so tired of hearing everyone complain about the magnetic timeline. Actually, no. I do love the magnetic timeline. I will admit that I think it is a fantastic implementation it's a fantastic feature that being said having put in the reps and having learned track-based editing the magnetic timeline is not what i miss anymore it's nice but track-based editing can be just as fast and just as powerful for a myriad of other reasons a lot of that really is just personal preference from what i've learned and i don't necessarily need the magnetic timeline in resolve but what i do need is the freaking secondary playhead. So to show this, I've got Final Cut open. I wanna show you guys what the secondary playhead is. A lot of you already know this, but if you don't, I want to like really paint this picture of just how powerful this is and why I miss it in Resolve. So what the secondary playhead is, in Final Cut, there is a toggleable feature called turn video and audio skimming on and off. Now, right now I have it on, but let's turn it off. And when you turn it off, this behaves very much like Resolve, where I can click and move my playhead. Now, the cool thing about Final Cut is you can literally click anywhere in empty space as long as it's not on part of the video and it'll move. Resolve, you could do this too, and that'd be a nice middle ground, but it just lets you move the playhead and, you know, do very similar to what Resolve does. You can click up here and drag, very similar to Resolve. Now, Let's turn on that secondary playhead or that video and audio skimming. What this now does is lets you preview with a secondary playhead. You can see, let's turn on my audio. You can see that there is a second line here that shows up when I hover over anything. Now again, where the original playhead was at remains. And that's fantastic because if I go up here and hit play, it will play from wherever I left it. Or I can move around and play from my secondary playhead. This is a really fast way to move around the timeline. As you can see here, I could be here and I could move over here and hit play. And again, most of us edit on the mouse. Like that's just kind of how we edit. This day and age with all of the effects and things that we're doing, even someone who's tried traditionally just doing keyboard editing to see what all of the legacy editors are talking about. It's a very like movie workflow with where you're just doing cutting, but you know, all the time we're making cuts for YouTube editing and then we want to throw effects on and you can't do that easily and with the degree of technicality that you can do with a mouse. So anyway, this is why this feature is so powerful. Now, even more so, why this feature is so powerful is say we're cutting a roll, and this is when I just like literally miss this feature so much. Obviously, 
even just going off of waveforms here, there are some definite gaps in this A-roll talking heads that I have. And what I love so much about the secondary playhead is that it still lets you make cuts with the secondary playhead. So as you can see here, say I've got my main playhead over here, but I know that I want to trim out this dead space. All I have to do is hover with the secondary playhead, make a cut, which is fantastic, hover over the place that I want to cut to, and make another cut. Now I'm using my hotkeys there that do trim end, trim start, which basically just say, hey, from the playhead, trim everything off of the beginning. And again, as you can see, this becomes an insanely fast workflow to just cut out, like say I'm like, okay, I just wanna cut out all this dead space. I mean, you can move so fast doing this, you know, like you're doing your A-roll edit and you're just like, okay, here was a spot where I just wanted to cut out that, bam. Okay, here's maybe a spot where I'm doing some breaths. Let's cut these breaths out. Like, it is so unbelievably magical for this use case. And again, maybe when you start adding a bunch of layers, like say you had, you know, multiple video clips, uh, let's throw, you know, like a title up here. I don't know. It does get a little more convoluted and you maybe don't want to have that feature on turn it off and edit how you would otherwise. But for a roll cutting, and personally I leave it on because I really like it even when I have multiple layers, but for a roll cutting, this feature is like S tier. It's so good. And again, I hope I'm explaining this right. I hope I'm showing the true power of this, but just being able to hover directly over a clip and cut out things that I don't want and being able to trim this fast is truly magical. Now, again, hopefully you're coming from DaVinci, you know why this is painful, but let's walk through how you would do this in DaVinci Resolve. So let's look at this exact same clip. And again, you can do a lot of similar things where you can make a cut, move the playhead to, you know, right here, and then do the same thing. You don't need to select the clips. You can still do exactly what I was doing in Final Cut with hotkeys where the clip doesn't have to be selected and you can do trim start, trim end. But as you can see, now I wanna go over here and trim this dead space. I need to move the playhead. And to do that, I either need to click on the playhead itself and drag it, or I need to go all the way up here to this tiny little space at the top, move it, click, and I can definitely click and drag as I'm doing this, but then, you know, like I, you know, if I scroll, it's, it's, it, it just gets clunky. It just gets clunky. And it would be so much better if, again, I could just have a toggleable little button right here that gave me that secondary playhead. And same thing, like I can move over here, just pretend where my mouse is at, cut, cut, trim out this dead space. It's, it's just so funny because it's such a small thing. And a lot of people that I talk to about this, they're like, Jake, it's not that hard. You just click up here. You just do this. But like, I'm looking at my waveforms and I don't have, I mean, I guess I could, I don't put my waveforms all the way up at the top here. So in a way, as I'm trying to be the most efficient, fast editor that I can possibly be, I'm looking, you know, cause typically it's more centered or whatever. I'm typically looking down here and then I got to look up to make sure my mouse is going where I want it to go. And then I can start doing this. And again, it's good. It's fine. It's whatever you can, you can do similar stuff, but it's still just not as intuitive as if I did that. And then I could move over here. My mouse could have a secondary playhead and I can make those cuts. So again, I hope I've explained this well. And really my hope with this video is that you guys will like this, share this, comment down below your thoughts on this. I can't be the only one that feels this way. Again, I think you could easily add this feature black magic and again, make it toggleable. If there's people that hate this, just like in Final Cut, you know, make it so that you can turn it on and off and you don't have to have it. But I feel like technically they should be able to do it and honest to God, like I said before, I know everyone loves the magnetic timeline, but I think if you added this feature, you would get so many people and myself included who like might not ever touch Final Cut 
again. It's that powerful. Anyway, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Again, comment those down below, like, and subscribe. Real quick before we go, we got to make sure to thank our Dorky Daddy members. Thank you guys as always for supporting the channel. And to those of you who are wanting to learn editing or like how I edit, my membership is all built around just how I work with clients, how I edit, techniques that I do. It really is just sort of the Jake editing course right now until something more formal can be created. But I'm having a lot of fun with it because it gives me that flexibility to iterate teach you guys in depth in the weed stuff things that i care about and uh, get you guys editing better as quickly as possible so consider becoming a member today and with that i'm gonna let you guys go because i gotta get back to editing later guys